A regular light bulb today doesn't use that much energy as it used to. This little guy is now smarter and bio-eco-friendly, actually more than ever before. And even though it might be true that simple appliances do not use that much energy anymore, I do sometimes feel the need not to use energy without a specific purpose, really not using more than I actually need. And I know that we are oftentimes struggling to obtain internal alignment. You'd think that buying that new piece of smart furniture or the new iPhone and maybe the latest Philips Hue light bulb will make you a complete and happy individual. And then you go online and start searching and you end up on a page uh, which talks about hedonic adaptation and hedonic treadmill and slowly and gradually things start ticking for you. And if you actually look around you, you'll start seeing that there's often a common pattern where people are seeking this internal alignment um, through external stimuli. So we can say that this is actually about the use of energy. So you're actually trying to hijack that external energy and sort of like supplement your internal one. So it's again about consuming, consuming, consuming. So you need that external dose of, of, of supplements really to feed your internal energy base. You're using devices, you're using events, and most of all, you're using people to pull in that energy. And while I'm trying to keep myself neutral in terms of how I view this whole topic, this whole thing, I myself, I'm trying not to use that much external energy to feed my internal one, if that makes sense. And I'm actually talking in physical terms here. And I oftentimes take this micro mistakes down. I note them down on a notebook or a physical paper or post them on my website. It's about the daily micro mistakes I make while conducting my everyday life, so to speak. It's about leaving the lights on when I can simply create like a trigger action planning system where every time I leave a room I'll just like turn the lights off or maybe leaving most of the devices plugged in while I truly know that I don't need that specific energy right now. It's about leaving your room and putting your PC to sleep or if you have a colorful light driven keyboard or mouse that you can quickly unplug, you can do it. And what I'm doing is trying to sort of align that tremendous pulse of energy coming from the outside to how I feel inside. And inside I am actually feeling pretty chill, I would say, as I found that my inside doesn't need too much to sustain itself. And I do really feel comfortable when not using more energy than I need. And again, it's not just about the physical energy, it's more about the outside energy as well. So you can think about this as frugal living, but it's not just about spending money. It's uh, actually more than that, from my point of view. And I first thought of something slightly similar when I was pouring myself some water and also spilling some during the process. And for those of us who are lucky enough to have potable tap water and have installed a clean faucet system in place, I believe that we have wasted quite a lot of liquid in our lifetime either by trying to clean up the glass or simply not paying attention during the pouring process. I mean, quite a lot of water is actually wasted and we are actually taking it for granted. And this can happen again for light bulbs and TV sets and fancy kitchen appliances, you know, and monitors. I'm going pretty random here, but I think that it's not only about removing friction through simplicity, but also about being less stressed out by the external stimuli, the external bombardment. And again, I do understand that all of this is happening on a micro level, that I can hardly change anything with my small tweak when looking at the macro. Me simply unplugging my keyboard when leaving the room for two hours. Even though logically, you know, doesn't make that much sense on a macro level, that internal alignment for me is still going. I know that I'm not using that energy, that spare energy that someone else can use to power up their light bulb in their own place. I can remove myself from that equation and small daily quiet acts of progress that can improve one's internal alignment by a tiny fraction of percent might simply be that happiness we are all trying to obtain, maybe? And if we apply this recipe on a macro scale, it might lead to actual human progress. It might also be about expanding your taste for small subtleties like that. Subtleties on how you interact with the objects around you, the social environments and ultimately the world. And while maximizing can be fun, in the end, we should all seek that sweet spot of balance.